Hey guys, it's Fiona, and today we're going to be talking about lethal alleles. So we're going to start with some basic concepts about lethal alleles. These are alleles that can cause an organism to die, usually in early development. So the lethal alleles we're going to be talking about are mostly recessive lethal alleles, which must be inherited as a homozygous genotype in order to cause the lethal phenotype. There will be less of a focus on dominant lethal alleles because only one copy of this allele will cause lethality, so we will never see live offspring with these alleles since both heterozygotes and homozygotes for this allele will die. Lethal alleles are also included in pleiotropic genes. As you may remember, pleiotropy occurs when a single gene causes multiple phenotypes. So in this case, one gene is causing the lethal phenotype as well as some other phenotypes such as fur color. And we will touch on this a bit later, but the phenotypes that a pleiotropic gene influences have independent dominance patterns from one another. So to determine if an allele causes lethality, a monohybrid cross can be performed which is a cross between two heterozygotes for a single gene. So in the picture on the right, we have two heterozygote mice, which are yellow in color. So therefore, we know the yellow fur color is a dominant phenotype annotated by the uppercase Y, and the lowercase Y is annotating for a recessive white fur color. In typical Mendelian genetics, we would expect to get a 3 to 1 ratio of yellow to white mice. However, if a 2 to 1 ratio is observed instead, with only two yellow mice with heterozygous genotypes in relation to one pure red white mouse, then we can predict that the big allele Y is not only causing yellow fur color, but is also a recessive allele for lethality. So any homozygous combinations of big Y, big Y would result in organism death and will not be observed. So in summary, the gene Y is a pleiotropic gene coding for fur color and lethality with allele big Y being dominant with regards to yellow fur color and recessive with regards to lethality. So now we're going to go over some recap questions. In mice, the allele big Y is recessive for lethality, but dominant for the color yellow and fur. We're going to be going over these next questions in the following slides. Are lethal alleles only recessive? What offspring genotypes will survive? If you cross two yellow mice, what will be the ratio of the offspring? And finally, if you cross one yellow mouse and one non-yellow mouse, what will be the ratios of the offspring? So number one, are lethal alleles only recessive? The answer to this is actually no. They can be dominant lethal alleles as well, where only one copy of the allele is needed to cause death. However, that means these alleles are never seen in the offspring, since both homozygous and heterozygous genotypes containing the allele will result in lethality. So in this class, we will mostly be focusing on recessive lethal alleles. So number two, what offspring genotypes will survive? So since this is a recessive lethal allele, lethality only occurs in homozygous big Y, big Y genotypes. So these would be lethal. And that would mean that heterozygotes and homozygous little y, little y individuals will be the ones that survive. So heterozygotes and little y, little y will survive. So number three, if you cross two yellow mice, what will be the ratio of the offspring? So if we were only thinking about color and not lethality, we know that the two options for yellow color would be big y, big y, or big y, little y. However, we know that this homozygous genotype is resulting in organism death, so that's not an option. So we would have two heterozygotes for the parentals, and that would be a monohybrid cross that we talked about earlier to get the 2 to 1 ratio, which would be yellow to non-yellow. So finally, for question 4, if you cross one yellow mouse and one non-yellow mouse, what would be the ratios of the offspring? So the yellow mouse will have to be big Y, little y, as we figured out in the previous question. And then we're going to cross it with little y, little y for the other parent. And so we would get big Y, little y, little y, little y, big Y, little y, little y, little y. So half of the offspring will be homozygous, recessive, for little y, little y, and be non-yellow in color. And then the other half will be heterozygous, and it will be yellow in color. So in this case, there will be no lethal alleles, since there are no homozygous big Y, big Y present.